Yo, what's going on guys in this video I'll be showing you how to create this nuclear symbol in Inkscape so we'll be creating this symbol and on top of that we'll be applying some textures to it so yeah let's get started open up Inkscape and go to file document properties and uh, change the units to pixels and I'll make a I'll set the width to 500 and height to 500 and uh, uncheck show border shadow go to the grids tab and create the rectangular grid click on new and set the x spacing to 10 and y spacing to 10 and change this number to 1 right here and just close out of this now click on view zoom and then click on page I can press 5 on a keyboard now I'll just enable, enable all these uh, snappings just enable all of these and in the align and distribute panel set the relative to page now select the ellipse circles and ellipses tool and I'll control and shift on your keyboard and uh, create a circle like this now for this uh, I'll give it a color of gray 800 and uh, align it uh, on the vertical and horizontal axis now with the select tool uh, you see this change the units to pixels and uh, set the width to 260 and the height to 260 as well and duplicate the shape and uh, give it a different color and uh, change the width to 220 and height to 220 and again align it to the center of your page and I'll just uh, change the color right here so I'll just uh, make it just increase the green a bit so I'll just uh, double click on this code to copy it I need it later on Again, control D to duplicate the shape and uh, change the color. Set the width to 180 and height to 180. Again, center it on the horizontal and vertical axis. Control D to duplicate it and change the width to 60 and uh, height to 60 and hit enter. Get a different color and align it to the center and uh, duplicate this shape one last time and uh, change the color and for this set the width to 20 and height to 20 and uh, don't forget to align it to the center now hold select this uh, pink shape and uh, hold shift on your keyboard and click on this purple shape to select it as well once both these shapes are selected go to path difference now select the rectangles and squares tool and uh, place your mouse cursor right over here and uh, create a square like this and I'll just give it a different color now uh, select this shape go to path object to path and then click on edit parts by nodes tool and zoom in and uh, you'll see these four nodes at four corners of the square shape click on this node and just move it to the center and click on this node to select it and move it to the center now select the select and transform objects tool again click on the shape to select it and click once again to get the rotation handles now you'll see this uh, plus symbol right in the middle of the shape just hold control key on your keyboard and bring it down and uh, just make sure that this text just make sure that it is uh, it's, it's snapping to the this point right here and see this text appearing that means that it is snapping to the center now just duplicate the shape control D to duplicate it and uh, again uh, rotate it 
zoom in and make sure that it's sitting on top of this line again control D to duplicate it uh, rotate it and uh, put it in place and now select all these uh, triangles go to path union and hold shift on your keyboard and select this uh, shape this one right here hold shift and click on it to select it go to path and then click on intersection now select this shape and uh, the one in the middle the small circle and go to path and union now for this use the same color that we used before mm, gray 800 I'm again using the material UI color palette okay now that's your nuclear symbol nuclear symbol icon but uh, will make it uh, look a bit more interesting so to do that just select this shape right here just select the shape right here and go to filters shadows those drop shadow and uh, in the blur color uh, change it to white and uh, got a text message and uh, go to in the CMYK panel set it to 50 and then the options tab uh, make sure that the blur radius and horizontal offset are set to zero pixel and vertical offset is set to one pixel and the shadow type should be outer and then click on live preview first if i can zoom in and show you live preview this is what you will get just apply and close out of this now with the same shape still selected go to filter shadows and glows drop shadow this time set the shadow type to inner and blur color change paste that code back in this field right there and uh, I'll zoom in and uh, change the increase the magenta level a bit uh, change it to 33 and then click on live preview and just double click on this code to copy it and click on apply and close out of this Now select this shape right here this one and uh, in the fill and stroke panel and stroke style change the units this value to pixel and uh, change it to one pixel and uh, in the strong paint tab uh, set change paste the rgba code in this field right here okay now select the outermost string and uh, apply a drop shadow on it as well go to filters shadows and close drop shadow and uh, change it to black and uh, then uh, make sure that the shadow type is set to outer and the rest of the values should be same here and uh, make sure that the alpha opacity is set to like 18 or so then click on live preview and this apply and close out of this now you're done and if I can just hide the grid here this is how your symbol nuclear symbol will look like I can go one step further I just downloaded this uh, some of these textures from Google and some from DeviantArt and some of them are uh, some of them were uploaded on some website some of them worked some of them had to be tweaked a bit so I'll just put the link of one of these in the description you can get them from Google just simple search will show you tons of results I'll just use one of these in this design and uh, resize it we turned on turn off the snappings for a moment and uh, just resize it like this change the opacity so that we can see the sh background shape a bit clearly and just place it wherever you find that it will look 
really nice and just crank up the opacity back to 100% and uh, hit control on your keyboard to select all of the content that's create that's in your page and go to object mask and then click on set and that's what that did so can finally create some background for your design it's really completely up to you so that's it that's the tutorial I hope you learned something new and if you like this video please do leave a like if you enjoyed this video please do leave a like and uh, I'll see you in the next one goodbye